I want to show you how requisition worksheets and demand forecasts in Dynamics 365 Business Central can help you plan your purchases so you've got inventory when you need it. Let's take a look at the demand forecast first. I created this demand forecast right here. I'm going to select it by month and use this location. This is the item right here that I put in the forecast and you can see the monthly forecast that I set up for this item going forward all through the year 2020. And obviously I could add additional items here if I wanted to, additional locations. This particular item happens to be set up as a stock keeping unit. Next, let's take a look at the requisition worksheets. Here's a blank requisition worksheet. And the first thing I want to do then is go to process and calculate the plan. Now what I want to do is make sure that I specify the forecast that I have in the system. This is the one we just looked at. I can put a time frame on this if I want to. I'm just going to generate it from here. And I get these results. Business Central looked out at the forecast for that one particular item, realized that I needed an additional item, so it suggested these POs right here. Now, I don't have to do them all right away, but you can see I've got the due dates are right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first two. I'm going to go into process again and carry out action messages. This will create the POs in Business Central. Let's take a look at the purchase order. This particular item has this vendor associated with it. So Business Central created a PO for this vendor with these items. Let's take a look at it. Here are the two items for my requisition worksheet. And that's all I need to do. I set up a demand forecast. I use that when calculating the requisition worksheet and then turn that into purchase orders. It's really easy to do. And these are for purchased items, not assembled items or components of assembled items. Mm -hmm.